welcome back to Inktoberfest. Can't believe how far along we are at day 28. But today I'm gonna to be showing you a really cool technique. So you've probably seen this string art idea all over Facebook and things. And I was thinking, well, how can we incorporate this into our card making, but also maybe make it a little bit different. And the way I've discovered is with alcohol ink. So I'm using the Ranger ones. I also tried it out with Ulta new ones, um, but the Ranger ones definitely work best. Non pearls, um, ideally. But what you wanna do is just, you see how easy this bit is. Um, I'm just adding some alcohol ink to my twine. This is just regular baker's twine we would use in our card making. And I'm adding different patches in different places so that we get some nice variation. And I'm also going to just add some blue on the end here. There we go. Can you see? You might even want to like variegate a patch. And I'm just using a little bit of plastic to put mine on um, that I had left over from packaging. I really do reuse everything. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then the next thing you're gonna do, and this is, this is the bit where it took me some practice. Um, and it doesn't go right every time, but you just kind of wanna lay it down like a bit of an S. Place another piece of cardstock on top, apply some pressure and pull. And we hope. Look at that, isn't that a gorgeous? So it kind of looks like a little bit of a flower. You get these really nice variations with alcohol ink. I mean, I tried it with watercolor inks, even on the watercolor cardstock, it looks, there you go, super cool. This is actually on translucent Yupo. But you can go back and pick up all of that leftover ink. Now, normally I would have gloves on for something like this. And I'm just pressing it down. I might just lay another S over here. And I'm gonna be brave and do it on the same. Okay, are we ready? And literally I'm just applying some pressure and pull it out. That's it, really, really simple. Again, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Whether you're creating a background, whether you're creating you know, some flowers, you could then sketch in the details, but I just love the effect that you get from it. I just think it's a little bit different. Um, as you see, I put a piece of watercolor paper on top and that works really well with the alcohol inks. Um, I tried different papers. The glossy cast that was okay, um, but the Yupo worked best and then just having a piece of watercolor on top and you can see how it drags those down. I really like these kind of stringy parts. If you don't want that, then definitely try out uh, liquid watercolors. I tried the Ulta New Refills, they worked really well, but I just loved this technique in here with having like some of these lines. I think it adds extra texture, texture in even. And I just love how it comes out and I love the effect on the watercolor too. It just gives it that bit of texture as well. So you can use both halves of this for backgrounds, for um, all sorts of fun things. I mean, you could create flowers and stamp a sentiment over the top of them. Lots and lots of different ways. Heat emboss over the top, stamp in bold black, lots and lots of options. Use white Yupo, heavy stock Yupo. This is translucent Yupo, so it looks a little bit like Vellum, just a bit more delicate, but again, it gives you that really, really pretty effect on there as well. So just a simple, almost two minute tip for you today, but I just love this technique that we discovered. It's actually kind of by accident. We were trying to play around with watercolors. We picked up alcohol ink by mistake. And then we just loved the results that we got. So I hope you love it as well. Join me again tomorrow as we head towards the end of Inktoberfest, but we still have lots of fun on the way for you. So hit subscribe, ring the bell, hit join, and check out the blog as well. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.